Oh, f Good to be him. Hello and welcome back to VVoid, I'm Stay, and this is Stay. Right, okay, replace them. Maybe there's some useful information in there. Replace the tools in their correct positions. Okay, give me that bloody puzzle. Come on, I know you're going to do it. This is perfect and, and at the same time, worst. Actively for someone with... Activity for someone with OCD. Which is not my case. I have other dis disorders not worth mentioning. Let's see if there's something useful or the result is just a neat wall. Whatever. Fuck you, game. Right, okay. So... First of all, I don't even know if the intro I had for this episode actually recorded. But to say how it is, the arcade machine equals death. The tools also equal death. So, uh, yeah. Why do you think... Always oh, assuming to hear. I don't see how this develops the story, but it's probably the only option that doesn't result in death. Jesus fucking Christ. Because people... People kidnap people for three reasons. Money, revenge, or sex. Okay. There's no ransom, and I'm still untouched. So someone wants to punish me through... Is he actually... Um, men, men always want power more than women. Balance of probability doesn't necessarily mean the case, though. Because women always have a great something of purpose... But saying this, I'm not taking I'm not taking down female whatever ability or whatever. Usually I'm being held by unless I'm being held by a crazy nurse and therefore all my assumptions go to the shithole. But they be, but they belong where they belong. But you're right, when it comes to evil, there's no gender at all. Exactly. Right. Whatever the fuck that's supposed to say. The only female something among the eight immortal figures in whatever. The selfish seeker of spiritual freedom. She was found flat floating in a cloud. Okay. Kind of like my opinions. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother reading that white stuff, sorry. It's a Never mind. I turned my head and made direct contact with a something ca so something cast iron furnace at the end of the room. Hmm. It smells... It's sending some bad vibes. Right. You're at the bottom of the house. There has, there has to be a forgotten way out of there. It would be super sadistic to make me go through all the whatever and then deliver me f deliver me freedom on a silver platter. I understand the way you think. No, you fucking don't, mate. No one fucking does. But I find it pretty unlikely. Nevertheless, being locked up in here makes me think that I'm pretty... I'm, I'm probably losing touch with reality and maybe I'm beginning to develop some kind of... Stockholm Syndrome. Stockholm Syndrome. You better fucking not be. And for though, I think Stockholm Syndrome is, and I might be pronouncing it wrong, but for that condition, I believe you start to feel empathetic towards your kidnapper. Maybe somehow this is more comfortable than facing life. With food and a toilet, I with food and a toilet, I would be in heaven. Any ideas as any ideas of where to search? What's this say? Ventilation system. If the if there are so many things going, excuse me. If there are, if there are so many things going on in there, maybe there is a ventilation system. Search for it. You know what? I've already died several times during this recording session. What's one more, eh?
well, you already know by now that someone like someone likes his air uh, unbreathable and does everything to keep it that way. But who knows? Maybe the peer owners of the house were normal. Prior, rather. Let me see if I can find one. Sorry, let me see if I find one. Yes, there is a ventilation system. Let me gather some of this. Let me gather some of this stuff on which I can climb to... Oh my god, you're going to fall and break your neck, aren't you? To reach out the to reach out the tiny entrance. Hopefully the next time I talk to you. Okay, didn't want to read it anyway. But yeah, he's gonna fucking fall and break his neck, isn't he? Oh yeah. You ain't fitting through there, mates. I was right about him dying. Didn't expect him to die like that, but I was fucking right. Right, so just to say how it is, I have no idea if that time includes all the times I've been messing up. But because I can't skip it, I sat there thinking, if it does keep track of all the time including fuck-ups, it just goes to show compared to how long the playthrough is on the channel, compared to that, pretty much tells you how long it's taken me to get this done, how much time I'm having to cut. Right, okay, so we know that that's not an option. I'm sorry, but you know how it works. The first thing that catches your attention is the one thing into into dig, dig and fit, whatever. Fucking, yeah, just do the thing. But yeah, as mentioned before, I have no idea if the intro of this episode even recorded, so that might actually throw off everything. Pain in the fucking ass, whatever. Yes, yeah, sorry, daydreaming. Um, it seems really out of place here. Who has um, a charcoal furnace in the 21st century? A vintage collector? A serial killer? Stupid question after everything I've seen in this house. It looks like the perfect place to, dispo to dispose of a body. Next to it, there are two locked boxes, like the house of the Queen's, mother Queen's Mother's Crown, and with what appears to be a riddle inscripted on it, for fuck's sake. One, one says, long legs, crooked thighs, little head and no eyes. And the other says, trust everyone, but always cut the cards. Okay, and though there's something stuck on the wall of the furnace, what should I do? Okay, hang on, tongues, long legs, hang on, oh, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, okay. Um, crooked legs can only mean tongs. If I've got to do another fucking cut, then so be it. I'm going for tongs. Please don't die, mate. Please don't die. Because at least with the tongs, what I'm thinking is maybe you can grab something. It's talking about tongs. It's talking about tongs that are used for a furnace. Yeah, again, maybe you can grab something from the furnace. Maybe a key or something. I don't know. Um, hostile. Hostile challenges ahead, or whatever situations hard to escape from, grief and worries, but also a tool to forge and pr produce something beautiful, or to make whole of what was broken, whatever. Charcoal burner, something to grab hot, hot coals. Didn't know you were a riddle expert. I wouldn't say expert, but I have dabbled in them. Or did you just Google it, you trickster? If you did, if you did, you're the best. Thanks, Stay. I have been constantly Googling during this playthrough, but that was one where I didn't. But it can be useful to try and reach that thing stuck inside the furnace. Damage the damn it, the furnace is locked. I thought this was this was whatever. Brand. Cool, another puzzle. This is always fucking fun. Right, okay, so what have we got? I'm pressing all the buttons, nothing's happening. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? 
I don't know if you can hear, like, it's the thing. When it comes to Edson these videos, I know the sound of my controller gets picked up by the mic, so I don't know if you can actually hear the fact that I'm literally smashing every fucking button. Right, they need to switch round, okay. There we fucking go, Jesus. Fucking Christ. Done. Are you telling me? Jesus fucking Christ, some of these fucking puzzles. Anyways, it started working, and it suddenly stopped. It's probably burned the rest of whatever was inside. What if there's something terribly horrible inside, like someone's dead, half-burnt body? Think with me. This is not the most... This is not the most cosy, welcoming part of the house. It smells rotten in here. Could be from something dead right i'm gonna level with you i have no idea how long this episode's gonna be but the way things have been going on with the constant with the constant deaths knowing that the intro might not have been recorded and then of course with that freaking puzzle i'm gonna have to end the episode here jesus christ i'm gonna say this much i hope that we are getting close to the end because now it is starting to grind me gears but either way i hope you enjoyed this video and if you have don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video like and subscribe